1,050 feet. No! Is that gonna be two left? That's gonna be better. Smoked. Welcome back to another video. Today, me and Austin are gonna play doubles at Northwood Black. We're gonna punish ourselves at Northwood Black, basically. Ready to shoot par? I have no idea what to expect to shoot, but we're gonna try to shoot as close to par as possible. I told him we're probably gonna shoot like 10 over. <laughs> we'll see. It looks like there's more people coming. There's uh, kids running today, so I don't really know how well this is actually going to go. All I know is that uh, hole one, Anthony Barella threw a Luna and parked it. Oh, get through him. That is a hard kick right. I saw this play. I wonder if this is what Big Germ does, just maybe better. Everything is right. Everything is always hit the tree first. <laughs> I mean, let's, yes. Let's get a par. Yes, let's go get a par. In my mind, pars are great today. I don't really care if it's an easy par three or it's a really hard par four. I don't care what it is. I just want a par. Yeah, that'll, that'll be our easy par. Nice shot. Smooth operator right there. That's a that's, that's a par. That's not my doubles partner, but that's my doubles partner. <laughs> I think the straighter the better, just because I don't think we're gonna go deep. So hole two, par four, 580 feet. Oh, if that comes out of it, I love it. it came out. We'll be left side, but I think that's okay. Well, I guess we'll have one that is maybe far enough and yours that should kind of set us up, hopefully. I think theoretically backhand turnover is kind of perfect shot. Oh, Hit something great. kicked right. Oh, I just turned it over. That's all right. I'm down there. I mean, we're yeah. not going to miss par, I think, from there. No, definitely not. Austin's mid-range shot just kicked a little right. So this is more like a pitch up. Good hole, Austin. <laughs> I love being carried. <laughs> now, I don't necessarily remember this hole. 604 feet, par four. The T sign has it bending right the whole way. I don't know if that means it's a better backhand turnover or forehand. For me, just to get down there, I think I'm going to go forehand. You gotta flip. Oh, you didn't flip, hit it. Hit something, please. Not a thing. You know, I hit a tree on every hole until I need it to. <laughs> oh, that's not gonna be playable. It is. Wow, I haven't thrown that bad of a forehand in a long time. <laughs> Just gonna try to pitch this one up around the corner. That is not good. It's not good? No. <laughs> oh, it made a hole hard. Well, that really made me want to risk it for the biscuit. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, we've made this very difficult on ourselves, but hopefully we can get up and down for the bogey. It's not turning, man. Find the basket. Just give us a putt. <laughs> it's there. I went and looked at the hole. I feel like there's an added pressure just because I know where I'm at, like what course I'm playing, even though it feels like you probably make that shot on your local course every day. Please. Oh. There it is. Well, that was an easy six. <laughs> a double. We really worked hard to get that double. <laughs> that was not that hard of a hole either. Hole four, par four, 637. This one, I guess, goes all the way left. I think I want to just throw like a forehand that bends left and finishes right. <sighs> I 
Like we have one down there now. Maybe it sets us up, maybe it doesn't, but it's far. Austin's kind of in serious mode now, so he doesn't really he doesn't really talk very much. I'm not very happy with the double bogey. Well, and Austin gets angry very quickly, so. So I'm like, how can we get it back? That's this probably not me throwing. Makes us go on a downhill spiral. It's not wide enough. Unless it opens up around the corner and we can't see, it's probably in the thick. <laughs> I definitely feel like I'm a little bit more conservative, like to play for par, even though, you know, even when bogeys come across Austin, I feel like he's a player where he finds a couple of bogeys. He's like immediately, how do we get these back? How do we get these back? Push, 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 push. And I'm just like, no, they'll come. So playing these holes as amateurs, you really see how impressive it is for these pros. We had no idea this went across here. At least we forgot. So I think Austin's gonna try to go across and maybe I'll lay up. It's a no-go. Nope. Here's our conservative player. Good layup. <laughs> yeah, you know. Kind of boring, but I let you have the fun this time. Just put it close. Oh, oh my goodness. That would have been cool off the tree. Mm -hmm. We're parked though. Have we got a par? Yeah, now I gotta go find my other disc. I think we'll definitely have to push the boundaries a little bit on our tee shots out here because there's not going to be really any give me's. I'm also okay with having a nice simple par after a double now we got hole five here par four 451 feet looks like we want to go as straight as possible on our first shot and then it bends to the left and then slightly to the right i'm going to try to go trail as straight as possible come on kick left looks like it dropped straight down yeah i mean it was really straight it Drifted a little bit on me. So I need to go more left than that? I think you want to just keep going further straighter than that. I yanked it. Hit it. I couldn't see that. I couldn't see where it hit. Oh boy. This is probably a drive of a lifetime. Perfect landing zone here. There is a down tree that's making this shot even more difficult, which I don't think would typically be there. You were arcing straight at the basket, and hit the one lone guy, and we have a the putt left. Yeah, just like that. Max is gonna have a solo birdie. Is this gonna be a solo birdie? Who knows? Maybe I'll doink it for you. Let's go. He's good enough to be on the tour. Let's go. Hole six, par five, 947 feet. Looks like we go straight for a really long time, and then another 90 to the left. Oh, it kicked all the way left, didn't it? Yeah, that's, you're gonna have to put us in the middle. Oh, you turned. Get out of it before the tree. Watch out. Thank you. Sorry, I was getting so close to that left side. I was like, kind of yeah, tilting. Yeah, it wouldn't necessarily get... focus. It focused on you. Sorry, I was just trying to steer the disc back <laughs> to the middle. A little body English. <laughs> yeah, you know. Just like when you play PlayStation or something, you're playing a racing game, <laughs> yeah. you turn like Mario Kart or something. I don't know. I like it. I guess this is just kind of about how far do we need to go? Is it a full like 90 left or is it just kind of hooking? It looked like it was hooking on the sign. On U disc, it looks like a 90. I hope you got something better than that. Me too. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah, but that might be pinched. Nope, I think it's perfect. <laughs> wow, we'll I'm going with perfect. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, I'm definitely a bit pinched to the corner here. It's gonna be a t really tough shot, but the basket down there on the left. So we are very pinched. This looks a little bit more open from this angle, but see if Austin can manifest something. I just didn't get it turned in time. I think it was a good disc. What was that? Detour uh, mid-range. That 
Okay, that pod, I didn't us, quite push it far enough. That might give us a long jumper, though. We got a, we got a chance. Get it. <sighs> Do it. Oh, just a little high. That's all That's right. Things. Easy par. That was a very clean hole. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. For doubles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You start talking about individual, it's a little rough, but together. We made it work. We made that one work. We got a hole seven here, 325 feet, our shortest hole yet, right? Oh yeah. Hole one Definitely. was really far, I think. I'm gonna try to go Athena, a little forehand on the left side. Kick back to the middle. I know, I'm just leaking them just a little too left. It's a turn. Jeez, you tried to murder that. I felt like I barely threw it. It looked like you tried to murder it. Gah! <laughs> you faded right into the picture. <laughs> I did? So it focused on you as you panned off to the left. Oh, that sucks. I'm sorry, guys. Great shot. That's just what we needed. I don't know if I can get this to get over there quick enough. You can uh, Oh, it could. <laughs> that was perfect. Oh, thank you for making that because I didn't want the pressure. This hole is drawn up just so perfectly, but so hard. Very clear where you need to go. I feel like there's not a whole lot of luck involved here. <laughs> I mean, for us, it's just lucky to hit the cap. <laughs> Do it or you're in trouble. Sit. Dude's a beast. Holy cow. Did you film that perfectly? Perfect. <laughs> Let's go. Is it across? It's safe. <laughs> Solo. Another solo. Pick yourself up a servo, discgolfdealsusa.com. Link down in the description. Max, you're on a roll. Start us off. Yeah, don't say that now. Hole nine, 732 feet, par four. I guess it just kind of, I mean, it bends a little, but it's relatively straight, it looks like. I'm going to go trail, I think with a forehand, just try to hit the gap, get up there somewhere, let Austin do whatever he wants. If it gets around that, to the right, I guess we'll know when we're up there, but I did kind of drift it a little too left. Oh, oh, it got past it. Well, we'll be looking down the tunnel. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That's <laughs> uh, not high enough. Hit something. That's exactly what I was worried about. It didn't really throw very high. Hold it. Looks like a little bit of a low ceiling, just a little punch out. Try to get our par. Damn it. Wow. Pardon the language. <laughs> nice shot. This is why he likes me sometimes. Hole 10, so through nine, even? Even. Two right. birds, one double. What or a blow up hole. Yeah, that was a blow up hole, but. Hole 10, looks like 400 feet, par three. Low ceiling the whole way dead straight. I know there's a lot of rollers on the pro tour on this hole. I'm going to try to throw a forehand. I mean, might just be a par for us regardless. <sighs> try to hammer it. Drop the hammer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you sure, you sure did. Literally. Don't flip yet. It's gone. I can't find it. Oh, it's in there. I might <laughs> yell at you. Yeah. Why? <laughs> it's not good. No, it's not the best thing we've ever had. We decided to go with Austin's because he's like, ah, oh, no problem pitching around. I had a very straight shot at it just for the simple par, but now he's going roller. That's simple enough. I'll accept, well, yeah, I'll accept that. We're going par no matter what. In. No. Hole 11, 380 feet. Par three. It didn't seem like you're gonna do it. You want my breakdown or not? Okay, please. No. Oh my gosh. Why'd you say something? <laughs> that was on me, huh? That was on me. 
Or I just, think that was at the basket. I think uh, maybe the destroyer was too much. <laughs> Listen, you put nice, us in the middle. Nice shot, bro. <laughs> Good shot. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wonder where it skipped to. It's gonna be way too far right. Is it? Yeah. Yep. No. Why did you say something? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> joke. That was worse. Good try. I think this is like the hardest hole in the world. Hole 12, 1,050 feet, par five. It's gonna take some monster abilities here, Austin. And you have them. No. That makes this hole very, very, very long. That thing is flipping on left every time I've thrown it. So I start it out right, it doesn't flip. Basically, we just have to advance this one as far as we can, I think. What a tree, and what an opposite tree. Theoretically, I think they say you want your first drive, like, right by this uh, tee pad. Well, our second shot is a little bit more pinched off than that now. Went a little too far. That two left. I don't think so. Yeah, it's gone. Oh no. Please hit something again. Right into the hill. Uh, I did the same thing you did. It's a long way uphill. Oh my goodness, this one's killing us, dude. That's my best effort, dude. This feels like I just played three holes in one. That's how exhausting that kind of was. But we also threw some really bad shots, so that never helps. Come on, dude. This is your time to shine. Come on. Doubled it. <laughs> Ding. <laughs> what do we got here? We've got uh, 653 foot of tightness and woods. <laughs> what? Tightness and woods. Hole 13, 653 feet. I did nothing on the last hole, so I gotta do something here. Is that gonna be two left? I don't know. That's gonna be better. Smoked. I'm optimistic mine's better. Okay. Well, unfortunately, we're taking Austin's. Even though it looks a little gross, it's gonna be better. Mine's a little pinched because I didn't throw it far enough. <laughs> that might be gone. Good shot. All of you saw that, I almost fell on my butt. You almost eat it? Yep. Austin, perfect landing zone, even after almost killing himself. Oh, I didn't see any yet. It's terrible. That's fine. Trying to throw it in, that's in the water. Like, Is there water back there? No. You know, part of me would have been upset if you made that. Why? Because I wasn't zooming. Moving right along, hole 14, par five, 893 feet. It looks like we want to pump one as straight as possible because that tree line's pretty far. And then it takes a uh, pretty hard left turn. Is that right? Looks what like, almost looks, looks like, like it starts working backwards. <laughs> Flip. Ooh. I haven't got any discs to flip up today. Nope, you uh, need to relook at your bag here. Nope. We're screwed. Nah, I'm good. You know, maybe it's not pretty, but we're taking Austin's shot here. <laughs> yeah, pretty easy from here, right? Just straight, 600 feet. <sighs> then turn it. Sit before the bad. It's gonna be right on the edge. Oh no. Fighting the foliage. 
<laughs> yeah, just left side there, buddy. <sighs> that killed it. Is that short? Yeah. <sighs> Tickle. Fit a lot of the basket, Tickle. I feel like, on them. Exhaustion is starting to set. I can feel it in the air. Hole 15, 650 feet, par four here. OB lines the entire left side. I'm gonna go forehand, try to stay away from it as straight as I can though. Sit, sit. Whatever, it's down there. See ya, I ain't going for it either. No turn, dog. Is that the servo? Yeah. I thought for sure I could get it to turn. Yeah, that's kind of weird. Just barely stayed in bounds, but we'll take it. At least this way we can hopefully give it a run and it'll be an easy par. It's wide. This one's in. Tickle. <laughs> Tickle. Tickle. We got hole 16, 330 feet down the hill. Got to make it up onto the landing area. Straight down, straight shot. I'm going to try to get a lie in there. Uh, I threw it straight into the ground. Tried to match the hill. That didn't flip. So we're not really sure if this is technically OB or not, but it's not in water. So we're going to play it as if it's safe. Oh, Austin. That's not going to do us. Not in, but fine. Hole 17 is 320 feet, par three. We really need to get one. Just one more. We we're need to get one. We're three over right now. Oh, yeah. Does it have the juice? I don't know. I can't, I tried to get out of the picture, so I couldn't see it finish. I don't know if there's OB, if that water's OB or not, but. Just can't get out in time. Potential first solo birdie. Let's go. I did it. <laughs> I did something. Hole 18, 703 feet, par four. Go up left, back up right, up the hill. Bendy, bendy. Bendy bendy, flat hyzer out, get out far left so that we can shoot back to the right up the hill. All right. Oh, I like that. If it gets left, skip. Good shot though. Low flat drives. Nope. All right, I'm up there. Oh, I heard that one. Damn it. Darn it. It's all good. Sometimes I cuss too. I know. It just felt good. Wow. Well, we hit trees up there. I thought that was beautiful. That was a good shot. You got to get closer than that. It didn't flip up. Oh no. Wow. Yeah. Please. There's no band to hit. That is so unfortunate. Not gonna lie, that kind of brought the morale down, down a little bit. Yes and no, you did say we were gonna come out here and shoot 16 over. Wow, yeah, I thought we could have shot way worse, I guess. Honestly, it was only that one blow up because I'll take the double on a 12, but the blow up on hole three or four, that was just awful. That should have never happened. Two and a half miles. Three. Three and a half miles? Yeah. That's what I was telling Austin, like, it's almost more about the exhaustion than it is the playing. Because the playing's fine, but the walking kind of gets the body tired, and then by the end of the round, you're just, you're dead. Two doubles. Two doubles. Two singles. Three birdies. So, three over? Three over. Not a terrible day, I guess. Just could have been better. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button, and we will see you on the next one.